Hey guys, it's me, Brenda, and today I'm going to tell you a Bible story from the first book of Samuel. This is the ninth book of the Bible, and it is part of the History Books group. This story can be found in the Bible in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 through 28. Let's hear it. There was a man called Elkanah who had two wives, Hannah and Peninnah. Peninnah had children, but Hannah did not. Elkanah lived in Ramah. Every year, he and his family would travel to Shiloh to worship God at the tabernacle. An old man called Eli was high priest at the tabernacle, but his two sons, who were priests, were both very disobedient. While at the tabernacle, Peninnah, who had children, would make fun of Hannah and taunt her because she did not have children. This made Hannah so upset that she could not eat. Her husband, Elkanah tried to comfort her. Why be upset just because you have no children? You have me. Isn't that better than having ten sons? After a sacrificial meal at Shiloh, Hannah got up and went to pray. She was in deep anguish. Eli was at his usual place beside the entrance of the tabernacle. Hannah wept and made a promise to God. O oh Lord, if you give me a son, then I will give him back to you. He will be yours for his entire lifetime. And as a sign that he has been dedicated to the Lord, his hair will never be cut. Eli saw Hannah's lips moving, but he heard no sound and thought she had been drinking. Must you come here drunk? He demanded. Throw away your wine. I haven't been drinking, Hannah protested. I was pouring out my heart to the Lord in great anguish and sorrow. In that case, Eli replied, go in peace. May God answer your prayer. Hannah thanked Eli and went away, comforted. Soon after returning home, Hannah became pregnant and later gave birth to a baby boy. She and Elkanah named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked the Lord for him. When Samuel was old enough, Hannah kept her promise and came to the tabernacle to give her boy to God and be trained to serve him. I asked the Lord to give me this boy, she declared. God has answered my prayer. Now I am giving him to the Lord, and he will belong to him his whole life. Samuel stayed at the tabernacle, learning to love, obey, and serve God. His mother, Hannah, would come to visit him each time she came to worship God at the tabernacle. In this story, we see how God fulfilled Hannah's petition and gave her the child that she asked for. Hannah was sad because she could not have a child and because Penina bothered her. Hannah refused to respond in the same way. Instead, Hannah poured out her pain and sadness before God and trusted with all her heart that God would help her. We also saw that Hannah asked God with a great faith, and God heard her prayer for that reason. The Bible says that Hannah prayed to God, and she was no longer sad. In the same way, when we go to God in prayer, we must fully trust that He will listen to us. We should not doubt because we know that God will answer our prayers in the best way according to His will. It's something like this. When you go to a restaurant, you know that the waiter is going to bring you the order you ordered, right? You don't worry. You just wait confidently and enjoy time with your family while you wait. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 11 that God has good plans for us, so we must trust that He will always seek our good. Likewise, when we pray to God, we must trust that He hears us, and his answer is on the way. Prayer is like an ointment for the heart of a person of faith. For that reason, Hannah went away comforted as she prayed. And in the end, God answered Hannah's prayer. She thanks and praised God. In the same way, we must be grateful and praise him, remembering all the things he has done and will do for you. Remember, trust in God and everything will be fine for you.